Universal will be Disney. Yes, I'm going to say that one more time. Universal, in the end, will be Disney. But hold up. What am I talking about? Disney makes billions upon billions a year and is easily the most successful theme park chain right now. But Universal is coming for Disney. But try as they might, Disney is not coming out on top of this one. <laughs> Disney makes almost $90 billion per year, with Universal making nowhere close to that insane number. And the Disney Orlando parks have much higher attendance than their Universal counterparts. So how on earth is Universal going to be Disney? Disney has the better attendance, better revenue, and they even have more parks. Well, Universal is currently building a park that will change the entire Orlando theme park landscape forever. That's right, Epic Universe is just about to be Disney at their own game. But how on earth is one park going to be Disney? Well, Universal has done some truly incredible things when it comes to the marketing and theming of this park. Was it, you might ask? Let's dive in. Disney and Universal have kind of been battling out for the past, like, 10, 20 years trying to become the destination park in Florida. And so far, Disney is winning. But in recent years, Universal is starting to close that gap. And it all really started with Harry Potter World. Ever since Universal decided to tie in the Harry Potter theming into their amusement parks, their attendance skyrocketed. And with the addition of Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, I still love that name. That is, <laughs> what a name, what a name. And their addition of the world-class Intamin multi-launch coaster, Velocicoaster, Universal's attendance is becoming really good. So Universal decides it is time to expand. So Universal decides to start working on a third part, going by the name Epic Universe. Epic Universe is going to be tying in some truly awesome themes, such as Super Nintendo World, How to Train Your Dragon, Isle of Burke, and Dark Universe, they're also going to be doing a Celestial Park themed area, and they're even going to be doing Harry Potter Ministry of Magic. And all these themes are going to tie in really well with the rest of the Universal Parks. But the crazy thing is, the themes are not the important part. It's the fact that Epic Universe is actually the third park. Yes, that will change everything. Because before, when you're planning vacation to Florida, and you only want to visit either Disney or Universal, Disney has more parks. And you're a lot more likely to choose the park with more parks and more stuff that you can experience. So Disney had four, and Universal had two. Disney seems like the better deal. But now that Universal has three parks, and the parks are really big, and you have a ton to do there, the gap between Disney and Universal really starts to shrink. And I feel like a lot of people who have older kids, like 10 years of age and above, Universal is going to seem a whole lot more appealing. First off, you're getting some truly incredible attractions with some truly seamless theming integration. Like yes, Disney theming is absolutely incredible, but I would take the integration of the storyline on Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, Longest Name in the World, blah blah blah, over any Disney ride any day. Now I know that not everyone agrees with this, but there are a lot of people who are booking vacations in the Orlando area who probably would take Universal right now over Disney. And with the addition of Epic Universe, that number might just have doubled. Because the third park, and I kid you not, the Harry Potter theming is going to be bringing in a lot of people. No, but in all serious, I would literally go back to Universal just to experience the Harry Potter themed lands. They are no joke that good. And you're getting a third Harry Potter land with Epic Universe. And the Ministry of Magic Harry Potter land seems to be like it's going to be pretty cool. So if you already like Harry Potter and you get three Harry Potter lands in your theme park experience, 
I mean, honestly, at this point, Universal seems like a no-brainer. But we have to take into account the cost of these two different theme parks. Because the difference between these two is actually a lot bigger than you might think. For four days, six nights in a mid-range hotel at Disney in the summer will run you about $5,100. For a family of four, just park and hotel. Now guess how much that exact same vacation would cost at Universal. That exact vacation at Universal would cost $3,200. Almost $2,000 difference. Now, quick disclaimer, this is without Epic Universe, and literally no one knows how much Epic Universe will actually increase the price. If I had to take a guess, I would say that Epic Universe will probably increase the price to roughly $4,000. And again, this is just me speculating, I do not know for sure. I'm just giving a ballpark number about where I think it probably could end up. But when you look at it, you're still saving over $1,000. And when you factor in, if you have the right age group of kids and stuff, Universal just makes more sense right now. And with Epic Universe, it's going to start making a whole lot more sense. And just with Epic Universe and the attractions that Universal is offering right now, I just... Epic Universe is going to make Universal more popular and potentially more successful than Disney World in a few years. And I didn't think at all that I would be saying those words and those words would be coming out of my mouth. But all of this is almost a perfect storm for Universal. And I honestly could see them overtaking Disney World for the Orlando theme park, the destination theme park in Orlando, really soon. Now, I do want to take a second to acknowledge that there's a lot of things that Disney does indeed do better than Universal. The theming in some areas is better at Disney. That is just a fact. And when you visit Disney, you do get the whole Star Wars land and Rise of the Resistance. Now, I did get to ride Rise of the Resistance a few years ago. That thing is actually really good. Probably not surprising anyone there, but still, I, I had to tell you. But think, Universal does counter that with, say, Hagrid's. The integration with just everything and the storyline it tells, I was honestly blown away by just how incredible the, everything ties in with that ride. It is a true masterpiece of a roller coaster. And I would also say that right now, Universal is probably winning in the storyline department because recent Universal rides are doing such a good job of telling a story. For Velocicoaster, you're getting the story about the raptors escaping and you having to take a ride and experience them firsthand. You have Hagrid's where you get taken into the Forbidden Forest and you embark on this wild journey encountering all this stuff, getting caught in Devil's Snare. Like the seamless integration of the story into a roller coaster is something that Universal has really perfected over the last few years. Okay, so Epic Universe is going to be amazing, but there is something that Epic Universe also does, and it makes you want to make an entire vacation out of Universal. And honestly, before, it would be like you would go to Disney and you would tack on Universal for a day or two. Or at least, that was definitely an option. But now with Epic Universe and three parks, it makes it really hard to get everything done in even three days. You're going to need four, maybe even five. So it really helps Universal get on the same level as Disney. Because now, honestly, you can spend the exact same amount of time at both different theme parks. Which just narrows the gap between Disney and Universal even more. Now, Universal can't completely destroy Disney. Because Universal appears to a more older demographic, whereas Disney is for younger families. I just feel like with the addition of Epic Universe, just in general, if you have older kids, if a family has older kids, Universal is becoming a much easier decision. Because, sure, Disney parks are bigger, and there is an additional Disney park. But for thrill seekers, Universal is honestly a no-brainer. 
There are so many high quality thrill attractions that still tie an awesome theming. So if you want a thrill, I definitely go for Universal. But I still see the appeal of Disney. You can literally ride just about everything there, even if you are not the biggest fan of roller coasters. Nothing is too intense, but everything still provides a decent enough thrill. It's something that definitely the whole family can enjoy every single ride together. Whereas Universal, some rides like Velocicoaster, not everyone can ride. Which I definitely understand for some people is not going to work out. But here's my advice to you. If you have kids under the age of 10, then I would probably go Disney. Even with the increased price, I think you have a better time at Disney than Universal because honestly, the rides are just a little too thrilling. But if your family has older kids, and you're okay if not everyone can ride together on every single attraction, and you want more of a thrill, then I would for sure go with Universal. I would just maybe wait till Epic Universe opens in 2025, because that place will be epic. Uh, hence the name. I also want to shout out that if you are planning a trip to Universal, then Cabana Bay is a really good option for your resort. I recently stayed there when I visited Universal Orlando not too long ago. It was a super pleasant experience and it had a really nice pool. And it was a fairly decent price for a Universal Hotel. And when you stay on site, you even get early park admission, which is super helpful on a busy day. So I would definitely recommend it. And I know that Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket has gotten a little bit of hate, but I actually really enjoyed it. Sure, was it the most thrilling or intense coaster? No, and it was a little rough. But up front, you get some actually pretty good airtime, and I was it thoroughly exceeded my expectations. So I would definitely check it out. Like at least give it a chance. Okay, so will Universal overtake Disney? I am not entirely sure, but I really think Universal is going to start closing that gap very soon. And if Universal, in the next 10 years, was able to open a fourth theme park, if they execute, Disney would be in some serious trouble. So, all of those reasons is how Universal could overtake Disney. If Epic Universe does well, and Universal keeps up their great marketing, it will honestly all come down to how Disney responds. And if Disney responds complacently, Universal... Might just have this one in the bag. Okay, wow, that was a long video, but I try to go as in depth as I could. Epic Universe might just be the turning point between the war of Universal and Disney, and I really do think Universal has a good shot at becoming the most popular theme park in Florida. But we'll have to wait for Epic Universe to open up, so I guess we'll have to wait and see for sure. But if Universal overtakes Disney as the go to theme park in Florida, you know where you heard it from first. Or, I don't know if I'm the first, but you know you heard it from me, at least at some point. Okay, that's a wrap on today's video. I really appreciate it if you would drop a like, because this video took a lot of time and effort to produce. And if you really enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, then hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for other videos like this. And, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next one.